Hi, my name is Marquise and we're here doing our new show, Straight Outta County. So welcome back to our sensational series, Straight Outta County on Not For Fake TV. We're gonna get the interviews of the people and their experiences on the inner side of the county jail. Come on. You wanna? Look, they look like they just got out right now. Hey, you guys just got out of the county? No, we keep in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, they clean in there. Look, they got the bags. You gotta go in there with the clear bags and stuff like that. Oh, hey, what is going down? I don't know if you guys seen the news lately, but I was watching on Spectrum News. They did a special about the county jail and uh, the gangs that we were talking about. Remember, I got into it with that guy, and he was like, oh, bullshit. You go back to court. So when you come back to court, I did, I did about 11 months in county jail facing the crime, right? So they're, they're asking me, why am I looking like this? I'm 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 walking up like this in Because I don't look the way that they want me to look. They targeted me, and they said, why are you looking like this? Targeted you. The sheriff that was in there, he didn't like the way I was looking at my face. Why are you just missing? So why are you just dismissing what I'm saying? Because it's bullshit. Well, if you guys go run it back, there's a special on Spectrum TV, and they were talking about the gangs. There's like 16 known organizations, maybe 13 known organizations, and uh, Deputy Lee Baca had admitted to knowing about these organizations, but claims they're harmless, but they're not. You know, we're here again to go get these stories and stuff, and hopefully we don't come up on any uh, any of these uh, bad encounters. But if we do, we're here to report them. Look like these guys got out right now. Let's see if we can get an interview with them. Hey, hey, you guys just got out of the county? No, 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 I can't leave my yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you mind if we get a little interview or something? Yeah. We're doing a show called Straight Out of County and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's your name? Adrian. And you? Jose. My name's Marquise. Nice to meet you. Bro. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So let's tell us about your loved one that's uh, incarcerated. How long has he been gone? And who um, is... Yeah, my mom, she's been locked up like already. Um, She's been probably already in there for like two months. Oh, yeah. My brother already been there for like four months. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, just recently, too, I got released, too, like from possession of a firearm. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got locked up for that and everything. And well, yeah, you know, I was hearing stuff for a bit, you know? I wasn't even here that long, but yeah, they released me because of due to like a road to everything yeah yeah and they so released me and everything and well yeah i got locked up again for the same thing <clears throat> yeah and i got locked up for the same thing you know and then i was here for a couple more days you know yeah i pulled up again and then yeah my people came and picked me up and everything and, and yeah yeah so what's your mom locked up for if i could ask um um for a murder oh yeah yeah oh, man sorry to hear that no nah, it's all right it's all yeah. right so she's been fighting her case for two months yep you think uh, she's gonna have a chance of getting out or? Um, she was telling me that someone had got her a private lawyer. Someone had got her a lawyer and everything and he had told her um, take this deal and everything. And then she was she was in contact with me. You know, she had called me my sister and everything. And she told me that the lawyer was telling her all like, take this year, we'll take this, you know? And then she'll do a couple years, you know? But she's gonna have to do it like with the crazies right yeah. there, you know? And I was like, all right, for sure, you know? And she was like, just telling me I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I was like, no, you're not. Like, yeah, is she locked up here? Um, she's right there. right now. She's in um the regional in Inglewood over there. Oh, okay. She's in oh, so down they there. have her in mental health, but yeah. you still have to put yeah. Yeah, you know, and yeah, you know, and she was asking me for money and everything. You know, yeah. I was like, of course, you know, that's my mom. This is mom. unusual for her. And the first yeah. time she's been in some exactly. situation. Is exactly. this her first time incarcerated? Um, she's been locked up before, but it's like for possession of like um substance, control substances. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but like something serious like this, yeah, you know, she she told me I had hit her hard, you know. Yeah. I, I know it did too. You know, I feel it. You know, that's my mom and everything. You know. Yeah. And um. Well, yeah, you know, like us two out here, you know, I'm stressing, you know, I'm stressing, I'm trying to work, you know, just trying to do good for them, you know, I gotta, gotta kind of change my ways now, you get me, you know, yeah. I, I can't. You gotta take the, care of the family. Exactly, you know, now I'm, now I'm the yeah. big boy now, you get me? Yeah. I got lost my older brother to the same thing, you know. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Oh you know, yeah, it's all right, it's it's all good, you know, but it's um. Yeah, it's something life, that's affecting you know? your yeah, family. Yeah, but... you know, like it happens, you know. I'm not gonna lie, you know, like it happens to the best of us and to the worst of us, you know, like nobody's perfect and. Yeah. 
no one's exempt from getting hit by life. You exactly. know, that's going to hit us all. Exactly. It's just how you deal with it and how you handle it. Yeah. And I'm glad that you got your head on right and be the one that steps up because you can fall victim to it too. A lot of people find the excuse in it and it's just like, hey, I ain't got no reason. But it sounds like you got a, your head on right to, you know, do the right thing yeah. and figure it all out because it's that's what it's about. It's about the rest of your family and taking care of everybody else because, like, if you are in the same situation, you need someone to take care of you. Exactly. I'd expect them to do the same for Yeah. Me. And no matter what happened, you know what I mean? We don't know what happened. We just presume that she's innocent until you proven guilty. guilty. Yes, sir. But whatever happened, she still deserves love and needs a family and needs support. So you guys got to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you good little yeah. brother, too? Yeah, my cousin. Yeah, your, oh, your cousin? Yeah. So how does it affect you? How you been I mean, dealing I with it? Cousin. So this is my homie right here. Yeah. Yeah. I got my own cousin locked up for the same shit, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you know, like, I mean... Yeah. Shit, everything's cool. You know, he's locked up in Wayside right now. He's so you guys back. both put money on You put your money on your cousin's books too? Yeah. Yeah, something so, like that. You know, my cousin's in Wayside though. He's not around. Yeah, what's your cousin? Shout him out. Give him a little uh, love. Shit. Free smokes, man. You already know. Shit. Yeah, man. Not to the day, you know, but yeah, he gonna be out. Everything cool. Everything yeah, man. Cool, you know, he's solid, you know, like, shit. He has his own lawyer and shit, you know. Yeah, it's all a process. So we just taking care of him from out here, you know, like, you know, so he can eat good and all that. It's pretty much it, you know, but. Yeah. Like my cousin, like, he's straight, you know, like, ain't, ain't shit going on too much, you know? Yeah. They're already on trial and shit, so they're getting shit situated. Right now, they're trying to see, like, they can find a witness. They're not even sure, you know, so everything's yeah. going solid. You know? Yeah, you just got to go ahead and just go through the process and stuff. You know, it ain't over. It ain't over till it's over. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. let's, uh, <clears throat> let's just, like, pray for the best and, you know, um, Thank you guys for your interview. Yeah, thank and, you. Oh, yeah. Hey, what part of the city y'all out of? Um, we're in that, out of in LA, a small ass city named Cudahy. Oh, Cudahy, yeah, we yeah. know Cudahy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we're from out there. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah we're right, right there. there. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, good luck on your journey, yeah. man. Yeah, and, appreciate you. You know, guys. prayers for your family and yeah, everything, man. And, yeah. and take care. Yeah, always, you always got bless. What are we? What is this? We trying to turn. It's called yeah. straight out of county. Can we get your info for your city? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got people locked up? Or I'm doing it. Y'all got, got people locked up? Oh, shit. Right now, I got my uncle. He's doing 25 to life. He's been there 26 years and stuff. We waiting on him to parole. I got out uh, in 2016, the last time I was in. I did a year then. Before then, I did six and a half years. I did a gun charge on my last one. The first one was robbery, carjacking, uh, gun charge. All that shit. Stephen stolen property, gave me seven years, eight months, did six years and, and six months and some days. Got out and I've been uh, doing my thing. I got caught up about a year and a half and went back. So, you know what I mean? We just, we trying to get the stories. Yeah, got out here just trying to stay out here. You know, they gave me two strikes. So, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you, one slip, one mistake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but a violent one because I had went back after my second strike with a gun charge. Mm -hmm. But the difference between 25 to life and three years was that I didn't discharge the gun. It's, just, it's, the, it's a misdemeanor. Yeah. But if you use it in a commission of a crime or even protecting yourself or something like that, they would have banned me, I would have been gone. Yeah. So now I just got to use my, my mind and stuff and how to navigate in the streets. So I go out here and I just figure out a way. Sometimes, you know, you might run into somebody and everybody don't deserve your information. Oh, yeah. So if, if somebody come pull up on me and be like, where you from? And I know I'm not burning her down and I'm in a bad situation. I got to use my mind. Yeah, yeah. I had to learn how to do that. But it, but see, my whole thing is, even though I'm from where I'm from, my whole thing, I'm not here to harm you. When people come ask you where you from, it's a violent thing. They usually come in with aggression yeah. and then some bullshit. And you think I'm a bitch. Yeah, that's I used to lie to all the time. So why I gotta tell the truth to a dude in the streets? Exactly. I could just sidestep you and keep on moving. Mm -hmm. If you stupid enough not to check me for tattoos, that's on you. Yeah, that's you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Then I learned. Then I learned how to navigate a little bit yeah. different and just how to just talk to people and you know what I mean. Just be cool. And and and, and it just you know it's like a gang anxiety that people have. Yeah. You know, like they they afraid of people because they know everybody in L.A. or everybody in California damn near gangbang or affiliated with somebody that gangbang. So you know. It's like, where you from, where you from? And you, you see a lot of that in the county jail. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of fighting, but the fighting in there isn't Mexican on black. That's gonna be a riot. Yeah. It's gonna be black on black or yeah, Mexican on Mexican race, or yeah. white on white, and we destroying ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now it's just bringing consciousness awareness to that. You know, uh, y'all got politics that y'all don't follow, uh, that y'all follow in there, and we got politics exactly. that we follow, white, but white, it's yeah. like looser. Yeah. And, and the thing is like, recognizing that, it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's all to keep us separated. 
we need to like be able to like break that, but it's gonna be hard because ain't nobody really gonna break that MA. You know what I'm saying? They got a real code and people are structured in there. Yeah. I, I saw, I know homies in there. They talking about like, hey, I see you on your next term because I was a shot caller in the in the, uh, in, the dorm? in the dorm for uh, well, I was in a couple county jail dorms with shot caller in the dorm, but when I was in in Wasco in reception oh. and the shot caller for the essays, he was going up to prison. He was catching the chain. He was like, yeah, I see you on your next term. I'm like, no, you won't. You know what I'm saying? But that's his program and his mindset. And you breaking it right now saying, hey, I, I want to be out here. Because who want to pay taxes on everything? Who want to have to get discipline? Who want to have to get the three man, that 13 seconds? Who want to get that? You know what I'm saying? Nobody want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have nobody beat me up or nothing trying to get at me because I don't get down with the ride or something like that. Or I'm riding about a f***ing can of tuna or some shit like that. Real shit. Courtesy, some people some people uh, sit up here and, and die over a f***ing can of tuna and this happened or, or get stabbed up over a f***ing can of tuna That's true Stupid ass shit. And I could just give you a dollar twenty five or two dollars, but they, they probably be too big It's about breaking all of that shit It's about talking to people just being real with them and recognizing because I've seen people come out of here right out of the county jail And they ready to go catch this metro transportation back into the city go right back to the set, but They've been in there uh, some some for a short time, some for a long time. But if you've been there for a long time and you've been fighting and all this, and your mindset is on some bullshit, you come out here and you thinking it's the same and it's, and it's not. And no, nobody really check you and tell you, hey, you, you don't have to be afraid like that. Because we ran into a dude. Uh, what was it? The first guy. Uh, I forgot his name right now. I can't think. Talking about he's a street soldier. Yeah, no, 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 not him. Um, when uh, uh, my boy uh, from from out of the Harlem area. Um, with his head down uh, with the gray sweatsuit. You know what I'm talking about, first interview uh, with the murder, with the uh, attempted murder with the girl. He was like just, but just his mindset, how he was thinking, was like, he was thinking like, I was coming with aggression. We was coming with a camera and all type of shit. He was like, bucked up like he was ready to fight. Where do you think, like, the tension comes from? Yeah. He's still stuck from where he was at in there. Yeah. You gotta calibrate yourself and get, get out here, see what's vibrating out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's your mom's name? Shout her out. My mom's name is Rosa Belli Ortiz. Shout out my mom. You know, I miss her so much. You know, if you hear real soon, you know, she's going to be out. Shout out my brother, Dropper, you know, from the Wicked West Gang, you know. Right my free my homie Stilo, you know, from L Gang, you know. You know how it is out here, you know. Got to free the real, free the fake. Free the real. Fuck the fake. Yes, sir. Yeah, we know what you mean. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, man. You All right. Safe, man. Y'all. All right, man. Yeah, y'all yeah, have a good one, man. Thank y'all for your interview. Hell yeah, hit us up with that. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the young homies, you know. Everybody, it's all love. Everybody got their size and their section. It's just representing and stuff. I hope don't nobody on the internet be scared by their fingers because we ain't scared right here. We real life in the flesh. You know, a lot of people be tripping because people got affiliations and gang members and stuff, but they really regular people. You know? It's just how you talk to them. Yeah, it was a lot of stuff we said in them conversations right now, just talking on the fly, though. That was, it was some real shit, though, you know? Look like more people coming to see their family and all that, you know? Coming to visit a family member, uh, put money on someone's books? Okay. Yeah, this is coming to see your son. How you doing? Coming to visit a loved one also? We're gonna put money on their books? Oh yeah, you got to see him? The visiting is back open? Huh? You got to see him in visiting? Yeah. The last time they were telling us it was down. How uh, how is it visiting them in there right now? It's okay. They're still doing uh, social distance. Yeah. Well, my name's Marquise, and we're doing a show called Straight Outta County. You mind if we do a little quick interview with you on your on your screen? <laughs> I guess. Like what? Well, just like what's what's this been like for you while your man's been inside? Like, how long has he been away? My brother. Oh, your brother? He's fighting the case six years. Already. He's been away he's in been here? Already in there. County jail. Oh, he's fighting a murder case or something? Attempted murder. Attempted murder. Yeah, those are harder to beat because they got someone up there saying something, yeah. So, fighting it for six years, is he still waiting on trial? No, he already did the trial. They gave him 17 years. They gave, so now he's on appeal? So he's just on appeal, so waiting. So he yeah. might uh, end up staying here for like a year or so, or probably before Just fighting the, the case, uh -huh. yeah. So, um, how has that been for you guys, your whole family? Stressful. Yeah. Is he trying to get home? You guys are paying for an attorney for him? He already got all that, all yeah. taken care of. He just doing his time. So he already, he was already set up before he went in, so it didn't put too much of a burden on your family that way? Mm -hmm. That was good. How old is he about? Uh, so we like 
like two years, so 41. How is it talking to him? Like, uh, how does he? I talk to him every day. Is he okay mentally? Yeah. yeah. He's fine. Yeah. My boyfriend, he fired in us. Uh, I don't know his, he going back and forth to court right now. So he been in there seven. Fighting still? Mm -hmm. Wow. So you got two men in your life. Wow. Your boyfriend and your brother? Yep. And wow. So your brother went in first, obviously. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then. No, my boyfriend is in there first. Oh, so he fought it seven years. My oh, he's fighting seven is. years. So how long has he been incarcerated? He's still just like on a case. He's just yeah, been in there for he don't know how long they're going to give him. So how long ago he's been arrested? Like a few months, a year? Like four years. He's been four years fighting seven years. Mm -hmm. So by the time they resolve it, it'll probably be like uh, time served and everything. He'll be ready yeah. to come home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I see him every week. So. Yeah. Do they ever uh, say that they're innocent or do they? Yeah, both of them. Yeah. It's just an unfortunate situation that happened to them and they got to fight for their life in there. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes uh, these things happen to us. I, I had a case where I was actually arrested with two other people. I had uh, short hair. Another guy had short hair. Another one guy had braids and another had me. braids. And they took two of us. They took one pair and they let the other pair go. And then the other guys, they stayed in the county jail for about a year fighting the case until they find, found out it wasn't them. Mm -hmm. So it is possible that, you know, people go in there for that because police have a vendetta. They just, you know, we're mm -hmm. black. We're targeted. Yeah. So yeah, but um, hopefully. That's why I stay out of trouble. I ain't got time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got no records. I'm trying to stay like that. Yeah. You know, you get into it here and there because I'm yeah. gonna try to catch my damn self where I live. Yeah. What part of the city are you from? South Central. South Central. But actually, Venice. I raised up Venice, California. Yeah. So yeah, it, it can be kind of sticky sometimes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it can. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time and your interview, and uh, hopefully your brother and your husband and your boyfriend get the, what they want, you know, out of this and come home. Okay, yeah, you. yeah, and I'm fortunate that you got to come up here to come visit them. But, yeah, uh, and put money on their books all yeah. the time. They have kids and everything, and other mm -hmm. people that depend on them too. How's mm -hmm. it for them though? It's rough because my boyfriend he don't see his daughter because the baby mama. Oh but wow. That's a different story. Yeah. And my brother, his kids is. Well, that's a older, story. That's so you know. Yeah, but that's a story that happens to a lot of us, too, because, you know, you have a baby mama that's not letting them see the kids in there because of a bad relationship, and then figure he's in jail and say that's a good enough excuse to really keep him away from him. But, yeah. Yeah, that's true. yeah it's a bad... It, it's just, I think it affects the child, too, because even though he's in jail, he's presumably innocent until he's guilty, so now you're putting the guilt on him, too, as a woman. You know what I mean? It's... it's but that's a whole other story. I'm saying this from, you know, yeah, I I, I've been in there myself, yeah, too, on the same type of trip. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Real. <laughs> uh, straight out of county is uh, not for fake TV. It's a series that we're doing on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. What you hate about the police? They just they don't know what the f they be doing. Half of these motherfuckers don't even know what the f they be doing. I agree they get with you. a job and then make a job, you know, talk for your head. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like they assholes. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of them, and then like like that George Floyd case, how they were standing around. They were supposed to be doing their job and stuff, you know. But and you got so many cricket. I'm gonna yeah. say you got so many cricket ass police. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. Because they're people too. They they hold biases and stuff like that. They get into that shit for a reason. They become police for a reason. Yep. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But hey. Yeah. Good luck on whatever y'all do one. Yeah, thank you. Right there, oh, yeah, let's check and see if we can get some of the interviews from these guys. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the real look. <laughs> hey, how you doing, my guy? You just got out of county jail? Yeah, yeah. You mind doing an interview with us? We're doing an interview on Not For Fake TV for YouTube. Just experience this called Straight Out of County. Uh, not for you, bro. All right. Look now. All right. Let's go check them out. We might be able to catch one later. All right, thank you. Hollywood, you say, bro? We need to ride North Hollywood. Oh, we ain't we giving no rides. The rides is on the bus right here. It's the train station right here. Go right to North Hollywood. Red State, Red Line. But uh, we're doing interviews. You want to uh, give us an experience? Oh, for a ride. We're, we're on the bus too. <laughs> we're on the bus and the train today too. Hey, they don't care about you Straight up. Yeah, what's Barbies. your names? Huh? What's your names? Oh, John Smith. <laughs> John Smith. <laughs> we got John Smith right here. He fuck Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you That's guys. right. Yeah, thank you guys, well, man. This was your first time. Huh? It was your first time? Yeah, right here in Kanjo, yeah. Damn, yeah. man. So what was that like for you? How, how does it feel? Scary, man. Yeah, what was so scary about it? 
uh, just everything, everything. Like the experience, run us through it. Let, yeah, like, tell, tell the people, like man, because this is your first time, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of people that don't know what it's like to be in the oh, county jail for the first time. There, it's like, I was just start trying, from the beginning, was, like did you strip down and all that? How yeah, did that shit feel? Down, like it. It stank man, like, up in here. I ain't got no words. Like, no. It's, I was just scared, man. That's all I got to say. I was just scared. I was shooting the ball, you know? Yeah. yeah but How out. long did you do? Huh? How long did you do? Just like, what, like two days? Two days? Yeah. Oh, man. Shit, so you never even hit the the big boy no, shit yet, no, huh? No, I don't want just to. Just going through the process. Yeah, so. I don't want to, man. They kept you in the hallway the whole time? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I got lucky for that. You, you know? didn't pass medical. No. Oh man, that's yeah. a good shit, man. Yeah. Hey, I got lucky. that's no place for humans. No. Nope. Uh, hey, stay out of people's cars. Yeah. Yep. That ain't yours. Nope. No. I learned my lesson, man. <laughs> hey, hey, can I get a uh, say your name and say you straight out of county? My Hold name on. is Juan Robles, and I'm straight out of county. That's right, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, bro, you straight out of county too. Hey, come here, man, with that black suit. Come here. Come holler at me, man. Give me an interview, man. This, you being released. Why you being released in this black suit? You didn't have your clothes uh, that you came in with? They no, lost your shit? They lost my shit. Yeah, what's your name, bro? Arshad. Arshad, my name's Marquise, and we're doing a show called Straight Out of the County. We interview people that are just getting out of the county jail. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what? Did, uh, how long you been in the county? Um, about two years. Two years? Oh, hell yeah, they lost their stuff. They was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what did you go in for? Are you at- um... Burglary. Yeah, so you beat your case or you just served your time? I served my time. Yeah, so how much time did they give you for it? 16 months. 16 months? Yeah. Yeah, so how was it? You got family support and everything? Anybody look out for you while you was there? Not really. Yeah, just had to go hustle up and do what you had to do in here? Yeah, I had some bread. Thank you so much. And people would hate on me. (laughs) Uh, I don't smoke, bro. But, uh, yeah, so you had some little money to take care of you already, so it was already good. I don't smoke, bro. He said he oh yeah, yeah. But um, so you did two years right now. So how does it feel for you right now being out? Oh, uh, it's all right. Does the sun feel different? It feel a little better? Yeah. <laughs> Your birds chirping and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you get free Narcan when you get out. Oh yeah. Free Narcan spray. What's that for? Overdosing. Okay, so you had a drug case that you were in no, there for. Everyone gets it when you get out. Everyone gets it. It's on a vending machine. It's a vent- free vending machine. Where is it at? You get out. Right up there? Yep. In the lobby? As soon as you get out. Well, free Narcan for you guys. If you guys have drug addictions and need some help, they got rehab, they got Narcan, and they got Just Don't Do It. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> no, so, so... Can I get a cigarette? Yeah, yeah, give him a cigarette, man. It's been two years he ain't had a cigarette. He needs one. He said, fuck that, huh? <laughs> So tell us about this burglary, man. Like, how did that shit go down? How did it feel when you got arrested? Um, like, what was the experience? Tell us. I squatted. I was squatting at a place. Yeah. I just got hand up over a broad, and I don't know where I was at. You were high and shit, fucking with the broad and squatting? Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Well, hey, thank you guys. Have a good yeah, man. Y'all too, man. Straight out I'm, of county, I'm, man. I'll be here for a minute. My people can pick me up from here. Okay, yeah. So who's coming? Like, who out of your family? Who's your people? My my mom just passed away. Oh, sorry to hear that. You lost yeah. your mom while you were incarcerated? Yeah. Man, how long ago? Uh, like about a week ago. God damn, right before you got out, too. Yeah. Unfortunate, man. So at least you're here. You'll be able to uh, say your goodbyes and see her and everything. You guys having a service soon? Um, they already had the funeral and everything. Already? It's only been a week? Yeah. Your family is a religion and how they bury the body fast? Yeah. Well, what religion are you? Um, or your fam- or is I'm she? a Christian. Yeah, she just wanted to hurry up and expedite it? Yeah. Uh, unfortunate that you missed it, man, and it's like so soon. Um, how did you deal with that, like, in, in there? Like, how did they tell you? How did you receive the news? Um, through the speaker. Through the speaker, they called you up? Yeah. To the chaplain? Yeah, you had to walk out there and go talk to the chaplain? Wow, man. So who's coming to get you since... Uh, my my aunt. Your aunt? Yeah. Y- yeah. You have uh, your father still? What's that? You still have your father. Is he out here too? No, he passed away too. Yeah. So, wow. It's unfortunate, man. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. How old are you? I'm th- 39. Yeah. How many times have you been in the county jail? Um... This is like my second time. The second time? Yeah. Yeah, you think you learned your lesson from this? Yeah. I'm, yeah. This 
to stay the house. Yeah. What's the plan now? Like, you're going to try to look for work? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 What kind of skills did you have or, or things that you do before? Um, st- stock broking. Stock broking? Okay. So, like, a grocery store? No. Oh, uh, stock broker. Stock broker. Like, uh, stock market. Yeah. So, you just got to get a little capital invest. That's why you yeah. said you had some money already, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We just went through something where you had a drug addiction or something like you're squatting. What, what, what made you squat? Like two years ago, this is like, what were we at? Like 2019? Uh, yeah. So what were you going through that caused you to be in a situation where you were squatting in a home? Like, was it drug use? Was it just, uh, you fell, fell off? What happened to you? Um, I done some drugs in the past, but I, I'm, for like 10 years yeah 10 years before you went in or took about 10 years period so what what happened to you like how'd you become homeless that's what i'm asking you. like how'd you become um I'm not homeless. no you said you were squatting right yeah oh so you were just squatting I, just to i squat. had a thing with my mom it, got into it yeah oh okay so i'll get you kind of bounce yeah, and that's unfortunate that, you, you know, it all happened. Did you guys uh, work it out, and did you guys talk at your relationship better before she passed? Um, yeah. Yeah, she supported you, talked to you, and you guys had a good conversation while you were still incarcerated? Yeah. I'm glad to hear that, man. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, can you look into the county, uh, t- look into the camera, say your name, and tell them you're straight out of the county? Sure. Uh, Arshad Aloudin. And I'm straight out of county. Straight out of LA County. All right, and thank you for your interview, man. I'm oh. sorry for your loss while you were in Thanks. here and everything. And hopefully your family come and uh, get you, bro. All right, you. soon. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot, bro, because like, this is the second dude that, that I've seen lost their parents in, in while they were incarcerated. And I couldn't imagine. I always used to worry about that while I was incarcerated. I did a lot of time, and I'm just fortunate that I didn't lose anyone like in my immediate family while I was in there. I lost um, my sister's friend when I first came in while I was in the county jail, they came. Um, my sister had a friend that looked just like her and they all, my sister got sickle cell and her friend got sickle cell. And I knew her, she was like a little sister to me, you know, same age as my sister. And she passed away. And that's the only person I had lost while I was in there that's, that time, that whole six and a half years. I couldn't imagine losing my mom or what it would do to me, you know? That, that's crazy. That's why it's important to stay free so that way you can do what you need to do because we can't control the factors of, and things that happen out here in the free world when we're in there. Once you're in there, you like fucking you in a situation and then life happens. Whew. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys getting straight out of the county, I see, right? You guys got time to do an interview for uh, straight out of the county? We're good, we're good, dog. All right, man. All right, appreciate it, bro. Respect. They just trying to get on, get to where they going. He a real one. <laughs> Politic is still stuck in it. I fed ya. I fed ya. Hey, what's up, big dog? We trying to do it. We trying to do interviews with people getting straight out of the county jail. My name is Marquise, and this is called Straight Out of County and stuff. Yeah. What's your name, big dog? Jose. Can we do an interview with you? Your experiences in there? Nothing too. Nothing too much. Just some regular shit. Uh, just same bullshit inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, how long you in there? Eight, Nineteen months. Nineteen months. That's yeah. not the same old shit. You probably got a couple stories. You see yeah, a couple yeah, things. I you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Gotta tell too much, but you know, just basic. You know, basic shit. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, so how does it feel to be out? Oh, I'm happy, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. You uh, beat your case or you fought, or you did your time? Yeah, I did my time already. Yeah. yeah. What kind of case did you have? Uh, violation of probation. So they sentenced you to what, you get you like 18 months for that shit? 19. 19 months yeah, for the violation? I needed to go to upstate, but I didn't, so I stayed right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, why didn't you go for COVID or just because fighting it? Fighting it. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, this is not your first time being locked up since oh, you're no, a violation? No, no, no. <laughs> so... Um, what's your plans from from now on, moving forward? Oh, like just be responsible. I need to work. Yeah, yeah you, I got three daughters and a son. So yeah, I, I was about to ask about your family. You got someone coming pick you up now? No, no, I need to call my my dad to pick, come and pick me up. You need help with a phone? Yeah, please, like give yeah. me your mind. Yeah, no yeah thanks. All right. Yeah, no problem. And um, we're here to help you. That's why we're here. We want to get the interviews and stuff. You know. All right, cool. Yeah. If you use this one. 
call your people. Okay, hey, record. No, you can call okay. them, bro. Let's move over a little bit. Yeah, you, you can call your people. We'll finish the interview afterwards. Okay. I'll let you talk to your people. Get yeah, all that right? stuff on the way. Yeah, I'll let you get your people. That's always good. What's up? Okay. Well, we want to finish him, though. Yeah. yeah. I just want to give him time to handle his business. What's your name, man? Mondo. Mondo? Mondo. All right, my name is Marquez. Yeah, see, now that's gonna, he's gonna give us an interview. Help him out, give him a little, you know? Mm -hmm. Now we're rescued. Good sight to see from being locked up for a long time, huh? Yeah, there you go, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. Right. Yeah, no problem. So, so how you gonna do it? You gonna do both at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Well, so both of you guys just got out. What's your name? Mondo. Hey, your name? Okay. All right, my name is Marquise, and it's a straight out of county on Not For Fake TV. So, um, how long you were locked up again? 19 months. 19 months, and you? From the beginning of the year. From the Probably. beginning of this yeah. year? Yeah. Man, so how's it been for you getting out? It's all right, a little rough, but, you know, yeah. something you have to deal with. Yeah, how's it feel for you? I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Getting released, you know? Yeah. Going, going back to my family. Yeah, you had your yeah. family support the whole time while you were yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, my yeah. My parents. Right. Yeah. Your parents? Yeah. And then you coming back here to come and support your kids? And yeah, 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 yeah. I need to. Just, yeah, I think yeah. you said you had three kids, yeah, three daughters? Three daughters and a son. Man, oh, yeah, man, that's a to, team yeah, right there, you know, yeah. I need to work hard. Yeah, how old Be are responsible. they? responsible. Uh, like, maybe, like, the oldest, she's 12 and 10 and 8. Yeah. And my oldest son is like 20. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Big man, huh? Yeah, yeah, and what yeah. about you? You have kids? Yeah, yeah, I got four daughters. Yeah, four daughters? Yeah. Man, four girls. What's their ages? Uh, All grown? 18, 17, 10, I think. She's nine and a, and a one year old. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a little one, too. So right yeah. before you came in, huh? Yes, sir. So, yeah, she doesn't really know much, but, you know, how does that she affect you having a baby? Well, she probably doesn't even know me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So how does it feel? Are you ready to get home to her? I'm just kind of shivering in my shoes right now, <laughs> just trying to get home with her. Yeah. So uh, where you stay? What city? San Fernando. Yeah, and you? Norwalk. Norwalk? Oh, yeah, yeah man. So you about to catch the uh, bus home? or? No, my dad's going to come. Uh, he's our, he's yeah, on his he's, way already? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, right? Appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. See you guys' right? phone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what about you? You need help with the phone, too? Or yeah, oh, she, she's at... I think somebody's waiting, I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got somebody waiting, and that's always good. So what's your plans as far as uh, moving forward to stay out? Are you going to work? Staying sober, Staying first sober. of all. Yeah. And yeah, for sure. Well, what, what, I forgot to ask you, what were you locked up for? What did you get uh, come in for? Uh, restraining orders, that's you know. Order? Yeah, so did it have anything to do with you drinking or something like that? You yeah, sir, sober? yeah. That's one of your first <laughs> Pissed me off while I was trying to relax. <laughs> yeah. you know, but it happens, though, yeah. You know, yeah. some things happen, but now you just have to learn how to control yourself a little bit better. For sure. Because then they're going to try to control you up in there like they did, you know? Tell you when to shower, when to uh, go to the bathroom, and that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. It don't look like it. It looked like when you were out there, you were probably just cool and chilling, got your shades. You know, yeah, trying to clean my truck and hey. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ever say you look like the Dos Equis, man? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just messing no. with you, bro. Thanks, though. But yeah, you know, we just try to keep us all laughing, chill, just keep it all good, man. Yeah, and uh, you, you yeah. what, uh, what kind of job are you looking for? Uh, like a warehouse for right now. Warehouse? Only go to school for truck driving. Yeah. Wow. Like, what's your desired salary? Like, because I, like, you've been going for 19 months, so like, how much money were they paying back then? Because I know the minimum wage was uh, like. I wasn't working. I was, oh, you wasn't working in the streets? Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. Streets, you know. So, like, what do you think it'll take you to stay out of the streets besides the motivation from this? Because it's going to obviously take you to have, you know, you got to have a job, take care oh, of yeah, everything. Oh, yeah, because of my daughters, too. My yeah. daughters and my son. And, yeah, I know. might have a connection with you, too. I'll give you my information right, cool. on a little job and stuff. All you right, said cool. Norwalk. Yeah. Um, maybe cooking. You do anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cooking. Yeah. Or... My family, they got a little, right, cool. a little hook All right, right. Thanks, all right? Yeah, I'll, I'll help with anything. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, all right? Yeah. Um, okay, anything, any interesting stories while you were in the county jail? Like, any fights, any police issues? Nah, nah. How has it been in there with COVID-19? Is that different this time for you, the experience? Yeah, it was bad, in there. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of it going around? Yeah, yeah. People getting sick? Yeah. Have you seen anyone and die? You tell them, nah, not really. No, no one nah, died from it up in nah, there yet? Nah, nah, they just getting sick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and well, that's tell good. them you're getting sick, that you're sick, they don't... They're not quarantining? Yeah, they don't They're do keeping nothing. them in the dorms and stuff? Yeah, yeah, they don't do nothing. They don't, they don't care. Where do they have you housed at? 5100. Yeah, so you were in this. Uh, oh, yeah, that is the floor with the dorms, too. Yeah, 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 yeah still yeah. the floor, 5000 yeah. floor. And you? Yeah. Where were you? Yeah, little, I was with them, actually. Oh, yeah. shit, I was in the same yeah. door. Yeah. So, how was it being in the dorm together, hanging out? I know, I seen him, and he, went, he was right there in the tank, like, hey, you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah. knew each other, knew each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. in the same dorm. So, y'all yeah. spread together and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> and he seen my little. Little encounter, encounter I had in oh, there. Oh, you had a little swabble? Yeah. What got, happened? Got a few little teeth. 
You what happened? Know? Homies and shit tripping on you? Yeah, there's the homies. Yeah, you ain't you know, playing, huh? They give me a chance to get even, so, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, they gave you a 13 I and you felt, got you, you, got you right so back. I feel so bad. They got him back with the, with the broom and yeah, the Yeah, they, they got me a little. In the head? Yeah, pretty yeah, nice. You got a little gash, too. Where you at, right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see it right there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. They got you, but well, you got them back, though. You got them back with a good one. Yeah. I actually fought two cats. The good thing is the, the homies give me a chance to get even, so. Yeah, yeah. I didn't feel so you, bad. Gotta, you had to take what you had to take to get what you got to get. Yeah. <laughs> it's politics. I know they do. You know. Hey, but you a G at this shit and you been through it and shit, but that's the type of shit that you don't ever want to have to go through. I mean, you're going out there, you don't need your hands and you need your head, man. Yeah. You know, them is the homies and shit. You know what I mean? You're getting hurt and shit. And that was politics. the second encounter. Was the it first your first encounter? It was because I gave some water to uh, a brother, yeah, brother, you know, out in the Policy yard, shit. you know. I seen the guy gasping for air, like, hey, here you go. And it's but, you know, I got deal with politics, it, I got yeah. worked with, you know, but, yeah. hey, it happens. It's always somebody watching, you yeah, know, and that's, exactly. that's the hard thing. Exactly. You've been here, huh? Man, I did six and a half years in the pen. Man. I did, man, I did another year after that. Bro, looking I been good, looking good. Just, oh, thank Stay you, bro. Out, that's yeah. why I'm out here getting experiences, just talking, because I know what's going on up in here. I have been threatened by the police for flashlight therapy, then tried to whoop my ass up in there. You know what I mean? Like, I have been into it and got squabbled. but I got jumped by 14 dudes up in the county jail, too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody watching. And I swear to God, man, you, you know how the politics yeah, yeah, be. Yeah. It, it could go off. Uh, it, it was the enemy I'm from Hoover It was a nigga from Devil Lanes yeah. Nine ball from Devil Lanes Jumped over from the south side of his bed And everything To come over there And jump to save me From getting jumped By the neighborhood crypts And they didn't even Fuck with him Because they knew He was coming over And, and that's good Because they could have Just tripped me Like man you stepped On our bed You jumped over our yeah. shit but it, yeah, it was yeah. solid, man. You know, everybody watching, they see me yeah. get jumped, but they, they see me hold my own. And you know how it is. They like, oh, shit. They you know what I mean? Yeah, and they respect me when I came out. I had two black eyes and shit, but <laughs> busted lips and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I stayed in the dorm. You know what I mean? We, we hold it down. It's a cold shit, you know what I yeah. mean? Just like you do. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Only way we can ask these questions right, is if we've been through you. this shit. Right. But, you know, thank y'all for your yeah, interview. You're welcome. Can I get y'all to look in the camera and say your names and you straight out of the county? Jose. Straight out of county. Yeah, straight out of county. Mondo. Straight out of county. <laughs> That's right, man. Thank you, right? Hey, I appreciate the interviews, man. I enjoyed myself. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wish we could break the politics so it wouldn't be shit like that and stuff just for helping a brother out. Yeah, you know what I mean? They, they want to whoop your ass. In, in jail, it's, it's politics. People are under pressure. Can we get the, get the info going so yeah. it gets further? Yeah, it's just it's just a lot of pressure under there with with the with the structure and then like us as blacks we don't want to be regulated and then you guys regulated well, you know but what? I think it's got to be a balance in between. Yeah, we yeah. Need it's a little bit better than a few years back. Yeah, it's better. It's a little bit better, you know. How so? How, what you think? Just, uh, they play just, together now. Like, we're, we're oh, able yeah, to, yeah, you, you know. Yeah. They play together. Yeah, yeah. Like play what? Cards play cards. Like card dominoes and stuff like that. Like yeah. chess. Stuff like oh that. shit! Yeah. For real? Kind yeah. of like a peace street going on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think. How long? Because this is new. Before for me. it wasn't yeah. like that. Before. Yeah, you know? no, this is new for me. Brothers, yeah. uh, they got together, people outside, and said, "Hey guys." Is this county jail wide or just in 5,000? Like, if you go to any county, dorm in the county jail, any cell, they not tripping yeah. up y'all playing games, politics? Oh, yeah, no, they don't tripping. Don't but it ain't no passing open food or nothing like that still? Yeah, open food, no. No open food yeah. still, yeah. but, because, you yeah. know, gambling and, you know. Yeah, yeah, money and, yeah. Chopping it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, because you know? the culture out here in L.A., we fuck with each other. We all people and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it'd be so crazy. Like, we was in the dorm, I remember, back in the days, one of the uh, one of the essay homies uh, from Watts. He was out there rapping on the late night. You know how you got the late yeah, nights. And he was like, yeah, some, yeah. some nigga, nigga. And then they was like, hey, shut it down. Nobody was really tripping because we know he was from that section and you yeah. know how he talked. Yeah. But, you know, it kind of hit for some people, for some blacks, some blacks that wasn't tripping. So, you know, the essays, the heads, it was like, nope. And then some of them like, we understand. But, you know, he had his little issue, got dealt with, did his yeah. You know, he just shut down the late night and they just, but now, you know, it's a little bit different now. Everybody says that shit too, and then some of these places and stuff, and nobody's tripping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of shit changed. A lot of shit changed. Well, I don't think it's good to using a word. You know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't want to use it myself. But I think it's good that we're not attacking each other, tripping, and we able to communicate and relate. I just wish we would be able to relate on a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? So we try to like, I want to try to take that out and eradicate it. That was just a story, just to sit, you know, just say, but. I know how y'all talking, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a good thing that it that it's, I got it's gone. Hey, I hear my mama say that all the time when she got arrested because she was afraid of going to the uh, to prison. She had got arrested in '97 or '98 for a drug possession and stuff. You know, she was using drugs and shit, petty thefts and shit like that. And they gave her one last chance and she was up in there. She was in Civil Brand before that shit closed down. And she always says she got rescued. 
You know what I'm saying? She talks about how they rescued her. Now she actually goes back in the county jail sometimes and uh, goes with the sheriffs and does uh, HMI panels for Narcotics Anonymous and stuff too. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> doing a good thing. Yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. For real, y'all can all we can all turn our lives around, man. Hey, hit me up for that job, though. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I got you on the holiday fool. Yeah, thanks. All right. Yeah, no problem. All right, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like today's content, make sure you donate to our Cash App. The information is below. Also, you can like, subscribe, or comment. Share with at least two friends. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Straight Outta County. Not a fake TV.